Hey guys, it's BuilderDude35, and this week's tutorial is going to cover how to program the EV3 infrared sensor. Here we have out the programming block for the infrared sensor. Now one important thing to first note is that the infrared sensor is the only of the five EV3 sensors that is not legal for use in FLL because they don't want you to use it as a remote control sensor, which is one thing that can do. But for all of you who are not competing in FLL, here's what the infrared sensor does. It has three different things that it can do, and each of them is available under measure. It measures proximity, which is when it acts as a distance sensor, just as the ultrasonic sensor does. It has beacon, which tells you the direction or the heading that the beacon is in, and then remote, which receives commands from the remote. So anyway, I'll go over each of them. Um, uh, in proximity, when we select that, uh, just like with the color sensor, what it does is it gives us a data wire where this value uh, is the output and it tells you the proximity of whatever the sensor is looking at in percentage. Important to note that this does not give you a proximity in centimeters as the ultrasonic sensor does. It instead gives it to you in a percentage from 0 to 100. Anyway, it outputs that percentage as a number here. In beacon mode, what it does is it first allows you to select the channel of the beacon, 1 through 4. Then what we have next is heading, which is another numerical value. And when you're using the infrared sensor as a beacon seeker, what it does is it outputs a value from negative 25 to positive 25. And what does this mean? So when the beacon is directly ahead of the sensor, it's going to give you a value of 0. If it's to the right of the sensor, it's going to give you a positive value, which is up to 25. And if the uh, heading value is negative, that means the beacon is to the left of the sensor, again, uh, up to negative 25. So that's what that does. It's the value between negative 25, positive 25, to tell you which direction the beacon is in. Next, we have proximity, which tells you how far away the beacon it's seeking is. And finally, we have detected, which is a logic value, true or false, whether or not it sees the beacon. After that, we have remote, in which, again, you're going to select the channel of the remote that's sending the commands. And this, is, this button ID is the button that it sees is being pressed on the remote. And again, as it with the colors with the color sensor, each button has its own numerical ID. And you'll need to look that up to see which is which. And we also have both measure and compare states. As I, I mentioned before in another video, in measure, it's going to take the value that's being read off of the sensor and take that number out. And in compare, what it does is it's going to allow you to set, let's say, uh, proximity. And it's going to compare what the current proximity is. And if the current proximity meets the certain specifications or parameters that you set, it's going to tell you true or false, yes or no. So in this case, we can set the um, proximity to be greater than 50% here. And this is the true or false, yes or no. And what's going, what this is going to do now is if the proximity, as measured by the sensor, is greater than 50%, it's going to say yes with this data wire. It's uh, output true. And if it's not, then it's going to output false. And again, we have proximity, just as what we had with the measure case. And it's important to note that there's no calibration feature on the infrared sensor. Not that you would really need one. And each of these modes here is available in compare proximity, beacon heading, remote, as long as beacon proximity, which is unique to the compare state. And again, beacon proximity just tells you how far away the beacon it's seeking is. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.